A case of road rage means a killer will spend the rest of his life in prison. A jury found Jeremy Webster guilty of killing 13-year-old Vaughn Bigelow in Westminster in June of 2018 in the parking lot of a dentist office. Webster also shot Vaughn's mother, brother, as well as another man. Nine News Crime and Justice reporter Matt Jablow was in the courtroom today. And uh, Matt, they, uh, they also sentenced Jeremy Webster. That's right, Tom. Testimony in the trial lasted about two weeks, but jury deliberations and sentencing took only a few hours. A rapid conclusion to a deeply disturbing case that began nearly five years ago. On June 14th, 2018, Megan Bigelow was driving her three sons to a dentist appointment in Westminster. When she tried pulling over for an emergency vehicle on Sheridan Boulevard, Jeremy Webster started screaming at Bigelow that she had come into his lane. Webster then followed Bigelow to her dentist parking lot where he got out of his car, pulled out a gun and started shooting. Bigelow and her seven-year-old son were hit and seriously injured. Her 13-year-old son, Vaughn Jr., known to his family as Bubba, was hit and killed. During closing arguments today, Webster's lawyer argued that the eruption of violence was the result of Webster's lifelong mental illness, and she urged the jury to find him not guilty by reason of insanity. But prosecutors said what happened that horrifying day was an act of road rage, plain and simple fueled by anger and not mental disease. Clearly, the jury agreed, quickly finding Webster guilty of all charges, including the top count of first degree murder. After the verdict and just before Webster was sentenced, Megan Bigelow addressed the court. This part can kind of be closed, but that doesn't mean we'll ever get Bubba back. All his friends are graduating high school right now and going to college. And every time I get one of those graduation cards, I burst into tears. Cooper doesn't have an older brother to look up to. On the first degree murder charge, the judge sentenced Webster to the mandatory of life in prison without the possibility of parole. Webster did not appear to show any emotion at any point during today's proceedings. Kim and Tom. Matt, just listening to Megan Bigelow, it just speaks to what they've been through for the last five years and how she's thinking about what could have been, but then also watching her other boys grow up while they kept watching this trial get delayed and delayed. Kim, I know you know the family well, and I know you know what they've been through. It was, as you can imagine, an incredibly emotional day in court. Well, our hearts go out to them because the grief never stops. So thank you, Matt.